Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for May 28th, 2023 from the Braddock Bay Hawkwatch. Kim and I started out at around 5.30 a.m. at the Charlotte Pier, and there was some dredging going on, but otherwise it was really peaceful to be out there before the sunrise. And here's a great blue heron flying by. Nothing rare out there. We did have a ruddy turnstone over on the Somerville Pier but otherwise not too many uh, shorebirds and no unusual galls other than we had one great black-backed gall. We decided to skip the firehouse woods and go to the Braddock Bay West Spit since we hadn't been out there in a little while, and migration was moderate last night, so we thought maybe there would be some songbirds around, but overall it was pretty quiet, nothing too unusual, but it was nice to get a walk in there. And actually after that we did make a quick stop at the firehouse woods because someone had found an Acadian flycatcher, uh, although we were not successful in getting that ourselves. So at 9 o'clock, we came over to the Braddock Bay Hawkwatch platform. And again, it was a beautiful sunny day with clear skies. Winds were fairly light for the first couple hours. And it wasn't until after around 10.30 a.m. that that lake breeze finally kicked in. And we eventually did move over to Frisbee Hill. But before we left the platform, we had some nice raptors. Here we have an osprey hunting out over the bay. And the highlight of the day for me was this nice adult red-headed woodpecker, which was a species I had not seen yet this spring. Red-headed woodpeckers have these big white patches in the secondary, so they're very distinctive when they fly, especially when the morning light is hitting them like this. Here's a couple cedar waxwings perched up in a tree. Here's another great blue heron. And even though there was hardly any wind, we had some nice groups of turkey vultures, and here we have some broad-winged hawks. And here's a green heron, and we had at least three green herons over at the west spit and a couple from the hawk platform. So for some reason, there's a lot of great blue herons and green herons moving around. I don't know if they're ones that are migrating still or they're just flying around a lot, but we seem to be seeing a lot of both species lately. And here's a juvenile cooper's hawk that migrated through. You can see that long tail, kind of a flying cross shape with a large head. And the juveniles have this vertical teardrop streaking on the upper breast. After the lake breeze kicked in, we moved over to Frisbee Hill Park, where we had a little bit of a flight, not very good looks at much. A couple broad wings did come overhead, but overall a little bit slow, just scanning off to the sides, trying to pick out um, turkey vultures and some groups of broad wings, you know, three or four at a time, way off in the distance to the inside. And I was teaching Kim how to play the guitar, and I was singing the broad winged blues. Taking a quick look at the eBird checklist at Charlotte, we had 24 species. At the West Spit, we had 43 species. And someone had reported some trumpeter swans there the other day that we were hoping to find again, but they were not there. That quick run to the Firehouse Woods, we had 20 species. At the Hawk Platform, we had 40 species. At Frisbee Hill, we had 33 species. And I did make a quick stop back over at Braddock Bay Park before I left for good for the day, since I had left a little bit early. Picked up a few vultures, but not really much happening, so ended the count for good. Taking a look at hawk count for our migrant raptor totals, today we had 105 turkey vultures, 2 osprey, 4 bald eagles, 1 sharp-shinned hawk, 1 cooper's hawk, 130 broad-winged hawks, and 3 red-tailed hawks for a total of 246 migrating raptors today. That brings the May total to 12,816 and the season total to 49,641. The only new species for the season was red-headed woodpecker. And taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking sunny with a high in the low to mid-70s, winds northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour, so that's a unfavorable wind direction coming out of the northeast would only expect light migration. Not sure if we'll stay at the platform or move to Frisbee Hill, Technically, we should probably be over at Frisbee Hill, but we'll start at the platform and see how the day develops. With those winds, we might not get much of a flight either place, so we might just stay at the platform. For Tuesday, it's looking sunny with a high up over 80. Winds east-southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So if you look at the hourly, the winds are kind of starting out light and southerly. And then at some point, probably late morning, early afternoon at the latest, it's going to switch to a northeast lake breeze. But while we have those more southerly winds, we could get a bit of a flight. So Tuesday is looking like the best day out of the remaining days of the season, especially in the morning. So it might be a good day to come out for one last chance at a Mississippi kite. 
Although, if the lake breeze kicks in early, we might not get much of anything at all, but you never know. And for Wednesday, which is the last day of the count, it will be sunny with a high of 81, winds north-northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour, so that's a fairly light uh, lake breeze, and we'll probably stay at the platform the whole day since it's the last day, and I'm sure people will come out to say goodbye. All right, so some good non-raptors today, especially that red-headed woodpecker. I was hoping to see one of those before the season ended, and it flew right across the bay towards us. Very nice of it to do that. And we had a bit of a nice raptor flight in the morning. Once the lake breeze kicked in, kind of shut things down, but we still made a good day out of it. And I hope we can have a good day when you're out here sometime soon. Maybe you can come visit us on one of the last three days of the Braddock Bay Hawkwatch, or maybe I'll see you out in the field in the morning. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.